Hey everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ, and we are coming back to our Connect Getting Started series. This is going to be episode 16, and today we are talking about something very special. We are talking about vulnerabilities, the silent killer. PDQ Connect has a new feature, vulnerability scanning, and it's really, really cool. Now this goes out to all those like sysadmins, either you work closely with like a security analyst, or maybe you are your sysadmin and security analyst, whatever the case may be, this is gonna help you out a ton. Here in PDQ Connect, if we go down to our vulnerabilities tab right here, I will kind of show you what we're looking at here. Let me find a good one. We got Google Chrome down there, everybody's favorite. On our left side of the screen here, we have this pane. These are all the CVEs that PDQ Connect is detecting that are impacting your environment. And we assign a PDQ risk score to that vulnerability. It's a calculation of multiple different factors according to that vulnerability. One of the things that we rank very high is whether or not the vulnerability is weaponized or not. So the likelihood of it actually being used against you in an attack is much higher. That's how we kind of rate those. So we got most severe up top down to the least severe. So it kind of gives you an actionable item to kind of like go through an order, which one of these should I handle first? We'll look at this Google Chrome one. Now in the center here, we have a lot of information about the actual vulnerability, what it impacts, what versions of the software, what it's rated. We've got the CVSS score. Uh, we've got the exploitability right here, which is gonna give you like your attack vector, whether it requires uh, privileges and the complexity. And then we've got the impact right here. Now, the fun part is over here on the right side of the screen. This is going to show you all the devices that this current vulnerability is impacting. So you can see here, I've got Eng, Katara, Iro, and Toph. So we've got four devices here. We've got Kim Wexler here, but if you notice on the right, that's already resolved. And you can actually see this information at a glance right here on the left side of the screen. You can see how many devices are impacted by that vulnerability. Now we're getting into my favorite part of this. This is how easy it is with PDQ Connect to remediate one of these vulnerabilities. I can come in here, click on the remediation package, review the devices that are impacted, and click deploy. That is automatically going to search the package library to see if we ha have a package available that will resolve this uh, exploit. We already have a, a Google Chrome package out there, so it's just reaching out to the package library, automatically creating that deployment for you and sending it to those impacted devices. Each one of those devices is gonna receive that package and be up to date. There might be some vulnerabilities on here that we don't have, we don't normally carry a package for, but you can always deploy your own package. So whether you need to create a PowerShell script or you need to download just an updated version of a software, you can create your own custom package and then deploy it that way as well. A couple more things I wanna point out. First of all, let's go down here to reports and we will create a port. Now we've got a couple dedicated vulnerability reports that you can run. So we'll just name this Voln because I'm lazy and don't wanna type all that out and I'll probably misspell it anyway. So we can come down here, select our type. We're gonna select a vulnerability report. Here's what we've got two different options. We've got the CVE summary report. This is gonna give you a summary of all the CVEs impacting your organization. If we click save and run that, it'll pull back all the information we're looking for. Here you go. Now this is kind of like a summary view of what we were just looking at in the vulnerabilities tabs where we have a list of all of the different CVEs, number of devices they're impacting, the CVSS score, uh, the severity, everything like that. Okay, so now if we go back to reports again, we'll run it the other way. I'll show you what that one looks like. We'll call this one Vuln2, and then we'll select vulnerability, and this one is gonna be with a device breakdown. So we'll save and run that and we'll show you what that looks like. This one might be probably more actionable for a lot of people. So here it actually breaks down a list of the devices in your organization. And then you can expand each device and see the vulnerabilities that are impacting this one device. Now you can see we've got a lot of them on here. This is the test environment. So we love our vulnerabilities to actually show this stuff off, but you can actually see this information in the devices pane as well. So if I come over here to Aang over here, we have a vulnerabilities tab right on the device screen so you can go through and see the different vulnerabilities that are impacting that device. So there you go. You've got not only your vulnerabilities that you can take action on, but you've got like one click solution to remediate them right then and there. I mean, you could go through just vulnerability by vulnerability, patching these things. And a lot of times what's going to happen is after you patch one vulnerability, it's going to patch a lot of them because there's going to be several vulnerabilities that impact maybe like an old software version or something like that. So you patch one, you might see like five or six different vulnerabilities just disappear and say it's resolved because the package already fixed it for you. That wraps that up. I mean, I've never seen vulnerability management this easy before. You go in there, you identify it, you deploy the remediation package, you call it a day. All right, that's going to wrap this one up. If you have any questions, hit us up down in the comments down below or head over to our Discord server, which is 
discord.gg slash pdq. And remember, if you want more pdq content, make sure to like and subscribe. For pdq, I'm Brock. Thanks for watching. <laughs>